Mohammed Mahmoud Street is a showcase of Egyptian street art, politics, social justice, mourning. This is where Egyptian artists come to speak their minds. The artist Ganzir has painted some of the most iconic artworks of the revolution, including one on Mohammed Mahmoud. You have these skulls, and you have, you know, in the midst of the skulls, like the sign, like one of the protest signs that was Red Freedom Social Justice, it's like right there. And, you know, just a pile of skulls, and, you know, who's responsible? There's just a soldier, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not Mubarak, it's not the officer, uh, you know, ranks and whatever. It's not the people who are making decisions, it's just like a soldier who's just following orders, you know. You know, yes, you're the reason this is happening, you know. Over the years, the city's walls have become a political battlefield where the artists are the soldiers. In 2011, Ganzir painted a tank, pointing its cannon at a lone boy delivering bread on a bicycle. After dozens of protesters were run over by tanks, a new addition was made to Ganzir's piece. But a pro-military group, unhappy with this portrayal, erased the dead and added Egyptian flags to the hands of the protesters. Anti-military artists returned fire by adding a military monster eating a protester. Not all graffiti has been political. A group called the Mona Lisa Brigades works on issues of social justice in the impoverished neighborhood of Ardaloa. The goal of the project is to take photos of, of, uh, of the children and write their dreams and uh, write their names. So when the children is going all around the street and see their photos in the, in the street, when they are going to school and coming back from school, they have a goal to do. They see their goal in the, in the world, so they have to be proud of what they want to be and proud of the place they be. Mia Grundal, a Swedish journalist and author, says most street art is aimed at getting attention in downtown Cairo, not at engaging the country's poor. What the Mona Lisa brigades are doing is actually they are bringing up these people to the walls, lifting them up, showing them, here they are, this, this is the people. Look at them, take care of them. Listen to them, hear them out. I would say that is really revolutionary. Mira Shahada concentrates on issues of sexual harassment, but she feels her pieces have done little to change things. The fight that's in everyone, it's still there. Like, it hasn't changed. Uh, you know, the thing that I believe uh, we should be fighting for hasn't changed. Uh, it's about being uncompromising. And if you're an uncompromising type, uh, these are difficult times to live through. In. With the Egyptian military back in power, the fellow artist Ganzir feels similarly. It's kind of gone full circle, right? So, I mean, I could easily just do the tank versus Riker thing again now and it would totally apply. Because, like, the military's in power. So. And actually, even this, the, this piece I did, uh, Mahmoud with the Soldier in the Skulls, is actually based on a poster I had designed back in 2011, back when the Supreme Council was in power. So in a way, it's like things have changed, have deceivingly changed. You know, they just sort of you think they change, but then actually maybe it's just you're back right to square one again. You know. Sebastian Meyer for VOA News on the streets of Cairo.